Hey there, uh, yeah, this is Kepper once again. Um, <clears throat> uh, for 2012, uh, what I'm going to do differently this year, uh, for those of you who have been following and reading my newsletters over the years, uh, one new twist that I'm going to do is accompany my article with a video uh, like so I uh, realized that um, uh, we want information and we wanted it in the most uh, easiest form and I, I realized even with myself uh, I will definitely watch a video before I read an article no matter how good the article is so um, I love to write, and I've been writing for uh, years, um, and uh, should have my book out this year. But um, nothing beats a a live video. <coughs> so uh, this year, to kick off the article, uh, and the title of this video is the art of fasting. You know, fasting is probably the oldest and best medicine uh, for anything. In fact, I can't think of any illness or disease where some sort of scientific fasting, and when I say scientific, I mean, you know, using it uh, in, a, in a way that is unique to the particular person, uh, to particular particular modality that that particular person is doing with so there has to be some um, you know some some process of of analyzing and, and and using you know one's experience to 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 come with the best fast possible fasting so if when we look at fasting uh, there are many types of fasts. There's juice fasts, or some people call it juice feasting now. Um, there's, uh, you know, different levels in terms of water, uh, spring water, distilled water, and coconut water, uh, which is what I like. And then, of course, we have fresh juices. Uh, there's a total fast where you're just on the breath. Um, For most people, uh, myself included, um, doing the coconut water um, has been nothing like that. Uh, I started I started fasting with coconut water about six seven years ago, probably about seven eight years ago. Now that I think about it, and you know when I got started into fasting, I was doing water fast water and juice fast and found that the coconut water made all the difference um, and you know one thing that we uh, as health seekers you know especially in this age of supplements and superfoods and and the like uh, we cannot build all the time okay uh, we need to cleanse and the thing is is that like in one of my keys to becoming raw is the is the key is 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 the second key is to detox um, and you know one analogy I like to use is that you know we we, we constantly have to be uh, you know updating our system so uh, if we're bringing in new furniture into our house, we have to get rid of the old furniture before we bring in new furniture. We constantly have to be cleansing, no matter how clean your diet is. Um, and we can't always be bringing in building building block food, meaning or quote unquote superfoods. You know, even if you know, even your greens and your nuts and seeds and you know all of your designer you know supplements um, these things are great in one sense but the balancer is that we have to give the system a rest 
and that could be the healer just in and of itself. I mean, I, 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 I'll share with you, even for me last month in December, right before I was about to go into my winter solstice fast, I started feeling some back tightness, I uh, was getting a little headachy, and uh, I was like, well, let me, the first thing I thought of, thought to go to is it's like well maybe I need to take some uh, MSM you know which is a organic form of sulfur which helps to sort of smooth things out like you know discomforts pains and things of that nature um, and I did that and I've used MSM over the years it's one of the supplements that I like uh, but then I thought to myself, you know, my body may be asking to fast. I mean, it is that time of the year, and I have been fasting with the solstices and the equinoxes like clockwork for the last at least six years. And uh, your body it was talking to me. And again, like clockwork, I, I uh, did my juices the next day, coconut water. And, uh, you know, all, the, all those uh, nicks and tightnesses and headacheness was gone. Uh, so, you know, it, it, again, no matter how long you've been doing this, you have to give the system a rest beyond the eight hours of sleep. Uh, you know, because, you know, for all of our waking hours, you, we're usually ingesting something, even if it's water. Um, juices, fruits, uh, we have to do, you know, we have to shut down the uh, elimination in some sense for some greater length of time. So meaning basically not bringing in, just bringing in your fresh juices, you know, these things kind of go into the system and work to cleanse, you know, like our natural detergent um, and um, uh, again, it's the the oldest and best medicine. We cannot always we cannot build and cleanse simultaneously. You know, we have to take time. You know, for any of us, man, woman, uh, to cleanse and to to make it habitual. You know, we 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 have scheduled maintenance for our cars. Change the oil every three thousand miles. You know, we need to be changing our oil, our blood. Our blood is our oil uh, every three months at least, um, minimum. So, um, you know, fasting one day a week. You know, in the summertime, I like to do, I like to, you know, recommend the fruit day. You know, one day a week, just all fruits, all like cleansing fruits, you know, watery fruits, watermelon. Um citrus uh, but year round you know we can do at least one day a week 36 hours uh, fresh juices fresh coconut water uh, you know what these things do is assist us assist the elimination the slip assist the sludge you know again proteins and fats uh, are great uh, we need them but we don't need them all the time we don't need them every day uh, so Fasting is the oldest and the best medicine by far, second to none. Uh, in fact, anything else, whether it be a herb, whether it be a supplement, whether it be an enzyme, is a distant second to fasting for sure. So this year, make this year one where you work fasting into your lifestyle, you know, once a week. Uh, and definitely every three months um, or even every month you can fast with the lunar cycle um, you know every new moon or every full moon uh, you can take an opportunity to fast but certainly definitely every three months and I'll say uh, for the women you know again speaking on the lunar cycle you know women have if you're having very difficult uh, menstrual uh, activity um, you know PMS and you know heavy bleeding you may want to use that as opportunity uh, over the years 
you know, women have, um, you know, it, it may be just by coincidence that when I'm having a fasting group that there is that time of the month and they see that it's a, it's a whole different thing. It's a whole different event. It's actually more of a non-event and that's really what any elimination should be, whether it's on, whether it's the daily elimination that we have or it's that monthly elimination that you have when you're releasing your egg. Uh, so again there's nothing that beats fasting and it's simply because the body already is, it, it, it knows what to do it knows how to heal itself uh, it is a self-healing uh, perfect machine only when we stop digestion and elimination we can allow it to do what it already is designed to do so that's why fasting is the first medicine it's the best medicine you know because the body is self-healing and when the body can do what it's designed to do then then in in you know then then that makes all the difference in our lives uh, but we have to uh, you know the sacrifice is the the food and and we have to take breaks from food and it makes food more enjoyable when we do eat so and if we're eating the best food then we want to fast because you know when we start using the coconut water and things like sugarcane juice and you know a fresh citrus this time of the year this winter time you know we have a fresh citrus uh, Florida citrus is uh, it's great um, you know we, you're not missing anything you know we, we we're really gaining by you know enjoying you know some of the fresh juices that can you know run through our bloodstream and and, and and nourish us on a different level where a salad wouldn't be able to or an avocado you know we, 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 we need to get that flush you know by the by, by our nature's foods that are predominantly water uh, so so again fasting make make this year a year where you fast regularly and trust me your life will be it, 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 it would it would it would it would it would be one where you know pain and sickness doesn't doesn't exist um, so again uh, post your questions comments um, and uh, I'd love to get some feedback and uh, again, this is all part of the, also part of the, remember, doing the 100 day raw food challenge. I uh, hope those of you watching who are doing it find this as an inspiration and to use fasting along with the 100 days to, to uh, incorporate that. Alright, thank you.